All right, so another key feature that you can do is actually default your drive from CCW, from Connected Components Workbench. Now, I'm gonna show you this because of the simple fact that we're gonna go from module to module, and this is what I've been doing, and I think it's a really effective tool that you can do to uh, you know, help you actually, let's say if you just wanted to default it right out of box and use it somewhere else, or if you wanted to just, like say for instance, you made a mistake and you wanted to actually come back and, and just default it back to normal and start from scratch. Come over here to your parameter and then come over here at this point you would go to parameter 53 and you would come down and you would do factory reset now at that point you would come over here and what's going to happen is you would actually have to push the button for it to actually take so you're going to push the stop button and then you would come in and you would do a module reset so at that point what's going to happen is you're going to, you should lose connection to the actual drive and it's going to completely reset right so you should no longer have actual you know connection to the drive and you should see it fault out right here so it's going to try to connect and it's going to try to connect but guess what now we're back to a default pattern right so we no longer have our ip address we no longer have any of our controls we put in we no longer have any of our inputs and outputs or anything we programmed or actually did or changed the parameters on our X cells and X cells and D cells are all defaulted. So now we have the ability to come back. So what we're going to do is we're going to cancel this and it will come back directly to the start page of CCW. So now you have your drive fully defaulted, a full way to actually come back and start doing the parameters again. Now, at this point, you do need to set the IP address. At this point, you do need to go back and set any kind of programming that you did prior to this. So, um, and again, we'll, we'll show you a quick and easy way to actually come back and again, use the, the uh, boot piece server or you can do the actual you know keypad entry or however you want to set up your drive for your IP address. But this was a quick and easy way to actually show you how to default your drive back to an OEM state, back to a factory default. So you have a, a way to, again, use it for multiple places. Uh, uh, like if you already have it programmed for something and uh, you needed to move it from here to here, you can default it and then load it back in later. Or let's just say you want to actually do what, what I'm doing right now. You wanted to use it for multiple things. You can actually default it back and then come back and use it again. So just keep in mind, you will have to load back in your parameters or you will have to start back through that process again. I just wanted to show you a quick and easy way to default it without doing anything besides using the connected components workbench. So again, this is another tool, quick and easy tool that you can use to uh, help you do things. So we'll see you guys on the next one.